Hey, this is B from Kongs R Us, and check out my Pimped Out Outrun mod. <laughs> Let me take you back 6 months ago when I randomly purchased a Cruisin' World arcade bucket seat for around 90 bucks on eBay. And when I finally got it in hand, it was dirty and grimy and I had to put a lot of elbow grease into cleaning it up. But I still didn't know exactly what I was going to do with it, except that I was going to use it in a future racing cab build. Flash forward to November 2020 and I was thrilled to be the first person to get the arcade 1UP Outrun cab and while I was initially all smiles, the sit down version left a lot to be desired and wasn't the most comfortable. And even my beautiful petite wifey had to lean forward to play the game so you couldn't sit back normally like you would in a racing cab. After my initial review, I knew immediately I wanted to mod it and started by putting the cruising world seat on the stock bench, but you can see from the placement that it was still sitting too high. Luckily, I'm the proud owner of a full-size Virtuon cab and was able to measure where the standard racing type seat would usually sit from the bottom and it was around 11 to 12 inches. However, the stock bench was already 13 inches high and if I added the bucket seat, it'd be around 17 inches. So I decided to mod the bench. So here's my modded outrun bench with the panel actually lowered using the stock board that was really originally here. So what I did was I took that stock board, I cut it in half, and I have the original one still here, and then I added this front panel right here, used the existing screws, just uh, drilled in a couple more holes so I can have this secured into this bottom board now. Now this is the perfect height and perfect placement for the chair that I'm gonna put in. So after bolting the cruising seat into the modded bench, I was now sitting at the perfect height around 12 inches from the ground, and it felt much better, looked great, and even added an extra Daytona marquee onto the bumper for kicks. And once again, my wife looks super comfy in the lowered seat with her legs fitting snugly into the cab. However, even after I cut out the front part of the K panel, my 5 foot 10 inch frame felt too big to slide in comfortably. So I decided to design and make my own custom riser for the cab portion and initially started by making 6 inch panels and attached them to the stock bottom board. However, after initially testing it out, 6 inches was still too high so I shaved it down to 4 inch panels on all sides and it worked much better. I had to design the riser so that it would support the top of the cab but still leave space for me to put my feet inside. So this design worked out very well and feels pretty sturdy. And again, I reused the original bottom board so I could use the same screws, just measured and cut some new screw holes. And the inner panels there are 6 inches tall, add an additional layer of support so I can screw them into the bottom of the cab. Lastly, I painted all the exposed insides and outside parts black and was very happy how this turned out. So speaking of wheels, I actually replaced my stock wheel with a Logitech PS3 wheel that I picked up from OfferUp used for about 40-50 bucks. Um, so I had another video that you can check out where I actually went through the process of adding this into my board. So I'm pretty much just mounting this through the backboard here. Um, I have the wheel moving pretty well and I have the paddle set on the bottom. But this is a cheap replacement wheel, it has force feedback in it, all the buttons that I needed. And then I use that secondary Geekpine controller uh, to set up these other buttons here. Next, I went to work on the guts and decased a Lenovo ThinkCenter M73 and mounted it to the stock outrun panel board. Then, added support beams on each side so that the PC would sit nice and secure on top, and lastly, I slid everything into the back of the cab securely down. Then I installed the custom inlet module switch on the back, and check out my full tutorial on how to make your own, get it working with your stock arcade 1UP power switch. Now a little bit more about the PC on the inside, this is running a Core i5-4570 with 3.6GHz, 8GB of RAM, a GTX 1650, 120GB solid state drive, and a 1TB drive for additional storage. Plus I added the pedals inside and wired everything down where I could. Next up, I did the Retro Ralph mod of adding a mini bass shaker into the bottom of the bench seat. This is a Dayton Audio TT258 Puck tactile transducer with 8 ohms. I also got a 2.1 amp to power the transducer and plugged the stock outrun speakers into. I centered the puck underneath the cruising seat and wired the speaker cable through the front and into the cab, but even though everything's tied down, you can still see the wires in the final cab, but I may try to clean that up at a later time. Now I could have stopped here and would have had a great looking cab, but I had the image of the original Outrun arcade cab in my head that I just couldn't shake. So that's when I started the research of wheels, and then tires, and then tail lights, and then even a full metal spoiler to see if it would work with this mod. And I went down deep into a rabbit hole. So once I got the parts, I started working on the wheel and added some awesome chrome Outrun decals I got from Justin at Gulf Coast Decals. He sent these to me to work with the Outrun steering wheel, but I repurposed them here and they look fantastic. 
Next, I started working on wiring up the tail lights using standard 12 volt adapter and also got the side lights working as well, mounting them to the side of the bench and wiring them up with the tail lights too. Then I mounted the tail lights simply using double sided tape for now and they seem pretty secure. And originally I was gonna keep the Cruisin' World logo and Daytona marquee, but they just didn't fit with all the new bling I added. So I took off the Daytona marquee and made my own Kongs RS license plate to finish off the look. I think it looks fantastic now and it really completes the look of the cab. Now thanks to my good buddy Justin from Gulf Coast Decals, I was able to complete my Outrun cab by adding Sega logos all over the place. Justin is absolutely amazing to work with, I highly recommend him. And this section is dedicated to Gunter Justin for finding the Outrun easter egg. So I added decals to the side of the cab, onto the marquee, the bezel, the side of the bench, and then lastly on the back of the chair which I replaced the Cruising World logo completely. Thanks again Justin and Gulf Coast Decals, check them out in the link below. So I've been talking a lot, but now it's finally time to check out the final completed OutRun Mod Showcase. Enjoy guys! So I'm back and I wanted to show off what I look like sitting down in the final cab. And I definitely feel closer to the real sit down racing cab. Feels really great, but people ask why don't I just build a full size racing cab? Well, my arcade up's upstairs and there's no way I'd be able to fit a full size cab in there so arcade one ups are the perfect size for me. Here I am turning on the cab by flipping the arcade one up power switch. Everything boots up, the PC, the marquee, the wheel, the tail lights. So now we can see what the cab looks like. It's lit up like Christmas while the PC boots. It's absolutely fantastic. I can control the lights with the remote switch that I have here. And now finally, I have my custom big box playlist called the Kongs R Us Race Cave. Check it out. Lastly, here's a little bit of gameplay of OutRun 2006 using the Logitech wheel with some force feedback, which feels great. It definitely takes a lot of work to get the force feedback plugin working with games, and you have to manually tweak a lot of settings to get it right. I'm still working on finding the best settings for myself, so I may do some future videos on setting it up so you guys can see how I made my adjustments. Well, that's it for this mod and showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you very much. Let's keep taking it to the next level. Bye, guys.